The Challenger Disaster on January 28, 1986, NASA launched the Space Shuttle Challenger despite more warnings than the dashboard of a 2006 Kia Sorento. What most people don't know about the Challenger disaster is that engineers had spent the night before the launch desperately trying to stop it from happening. The problem? The rubber O-rings sealing the rocket boosters were known not to provide the seal they were intended to under the extreme conditions of a rocket launch, and were especially prone to failure in cold weather. The temperature on the morning of Challenger's launch was forecast to reach temperatures well below freezing. During a late night teleconference, engineers presented their case and recommended against the launch. Their management initially agreed, but after a second meeting, the decision was reversed and the launch would proceed as scheduled, despite the warnings. 73 seconds after liftoff, the cold stiffened O-ring failed exactly as predicted. While initial reports suggested instant destruction, later investigations revealed the crew cabin survived the breakup and some crew members remained conscious during the nearly three-minute fall. NASA kept this information quiet for months. An investigation revealed the team at NASA had known about O-ring problems since 1977. Even though the space race was officially over, NASA was still operating under the same launch-at-all-costs mentality that defined the 1960s. Only now, instead of racing the Soviets, they were racing their own schedules and budgets.